Hi, my name is Steve Bowler, and um, in this video, what I'm going to demonstrate is uh, prefix lists um, integrated with BGP. And why you would use them, and you know what they are. Um, prefix lists are similar to access lists in that they uh, incorporate, you know, a, a matching logic, and with prefix lists, we can go one step further, um, and we can incorporate, uh, you know, prefixes or, you know, subnet masks into, you know, one uh, statement. Whereas in an access list, one statement, it has to match the uh, bit uh, length exactly, you know, with the wildcard mask. But in a prefix list, we can, you know, match um, several different, you know, sub subnets within one statement. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys how to set this up. Uh, in a BGP configuration and how you would verify your configuration and show you how this uh, how prefix lists are used uh, in the service provider uh, perspective. Uh, what I've done so far is I've you know set up the ISP connection. Um, pretty much everything you see here almost set. I've got all the inter interfaces set up on all the routers and I set up BGP uh, AS1000 is going to be the ISP's uh, BGP autonomous system and I also I already put in the neighbor statements to the uh, other uh, autonomous systems and this is a uh, we're running external BGP to customer 1 and external BGP to customer 2 and then now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into their routers and configure those connections for external BGP to the ISP. So we'll start with customer 2. On customer 2, I've already you know, set up the interface to the ISP, and I've already set up the loopback interfaces. So all I need to do now is set up BGP, router BGP 200 for customer 2. That's the local autonomous system. I just need my neighbor statement. I'm going to do neighbor 130 0 0 6. Remote AS is 1000 for the ISP. Our BGP connection ends up, so we do show IP BGP sum, and we see that our connection is good. We've been up for about 10 seconds. Now I'm going to go into uh, customer one router and configure it. Router BGP 100 is the local AS. We're going to point to our ISP autonomous system, which is neighbor 130.0.0.2, which is their IP address, the far side. The remote autonomous system is 1000. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go into the ISP router and, um, well, let's do this. On the customer one router first, let's, let's go ahead and advertise these networks into BGP. Do that by network 130. We're going to advertise um, 
loop back to zero and one into VGP. So we'll go network 130, zero. Mask. Oops, that's wrong. 